when did all this start? Uh, this whole thing started at, back in 2012. But back then she was just shy. And uh, after a few like, years, she was like getting really aggressive because she wanted me so much. But you know, she was just a passenger. I, I never had anything with her. And uh, you know, I, I just keep calling the police to make sure she's out. Uh, and you know, she's not disturbing me. I'm so you, you first met her when she boarded your bus, so to speak? Yes, yes, I never met her before. Yeah. And uh, she just saw me driving the bus and she fell in love. Uh, within two months she fell in love with you. She confronted you two months after she first got yes, onto your bus. Yes, she and did. confessed her love for you. Yeah, and uh, you know, she, she asked me out. And when I said no, she started to cry, like, really badly. And that was a sign, like, something is not okay. Oh, well, on the her. bus? No, I, I had my break. Uh, oh, your break, she followed you to the So break. she followed me all around, oh, like, yeah. everywhere I went. Like, if, if I went to a coffee shop or to the restaurant or, or everywhere, you know, she was always there, unfortunately. And, uh, you know, it came to that point when it was, like, too much. So I reached out for help. Uh, I called the police. And what did the police do? Uh, first, when I went to the police station, you know, they made fun of me. They said, like, what's the crime in here? Because, you know, I'm quite a big loud. And they said, you know, you can handle this. So it was a bit bad. So, and because she did not stop, I, I went to this other police station. And down there, finally, they started to take it seriously. But unfortunately, you know, they gave out my full name to her. And she was able to track me down on social media. <gasps> She made a fake account by, with my name. On Facebook? Yeah, and, you know, she was contacted all of my friends and she tried to get out as many information about me, like dressing herself as me. So mm. it was, like, really complicated and bad, and her obsession just went beyond imagination. You know, it was, it was really scary. Uh, and um, it started to get really aggressive. You know, because she realised that, you know, I'm not going to be with her, and uh, that made her really upset. And she came up to that idea, like, you know, we should, like, die together, because mm. that is the only way for us. So that is, like, if you just think about it, somebody had that 24-7 time just follow you and saying that kind of thing. 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 Did you tell your friends and things? Yeah, I talked to my managers, to my friends. Uh, some of them were really helpful, but mm. everybody, you know, they know me, I'm quite, you know, strong. And so they said, like, come on, just hit her and things like that. But you can't do that. No, no. You know, and... Uh, so the police got involved properly then? Yeah, they, they have to, because, you know, I called them every day. Because mm. she did every day something crazy, you know? If you can imagine something bad, she did that. Oh. So she... I can't really, like... I can't write a book about this. Yeah, it's sure. so many so, well, then what happened? She, the, the police got involved and then she went to court? Yeah, she went to court. She got a restraining order. Which uh, meant what? She wasn't allowed... To uh, travel on my buses, mm. go around uh, me, and she was banned from Oxford to yeah. enter Oxford. But did she, did she listen oh, to... Oh, she, she, she just, you know, uh, breached that restraining order uh -huh. all the time. So, finally, she was, she was sentenced for jail. Mm. She had... So she went to jail? Yeah, she went to jail. Uh, but, you know, the thing is, it was like just fuel on fire. She had more time to think about mm. it. Right. So first, you know, she was sentenced for two years uh, in, in jail and she was out for after a year. Yeah. And in that uh, few days' time, you know, she, she was able to reach her restraining order again and uh, she was sending me death threat and, and stuff like that. So she was serving another year. And uh, this January, actually, uh, she had a knife with her and uh, there was a lot of eyewitnesses, luckily. And... Uh, she, she was telling that she's going to stab me in the neck because, you know, uh, I have to be, like, really extreme about my mm. safety, so I had a stub vest. Mm. So where is she now? Absolutely she is, She's back, back in jail. She's back in jail? Yeah, she was... So do you think she needs some help, I think, I think, yeah, it's just... You know, she was... Clearly not very well. She was taking some medical treatments, but clearly did what? not no. help. I was just thinking maybe a trip to Australia might help her. <laughs> That's far. That's far away. Yes, and, you, yeah. you know, that would be... Well, you know... What about your relationships? It must have had a terrible impact you know, on you having trying to have relationships. She found out where we lived with my girlfriend and she came to our house oh, a couple no. of times. So my girlfriend was really, like, scared. And, uh, you know, I was really stressed as well, so I was not a fun person to be around. So my girlfriend just said, like, it was enough. She cannot take it anymore. 
and uh, you know, since then I'm, I'm single. <laughs> it's just really like even just thinking about to have a relationship is difficult because mm. if if I get you know start a family and have a kid or something, I cannot protect them from her because yeah. she's so angry about me ha being happy with someone else. Yeah. I mean, she needs some I think medical... she needs some medical help personally. Oh, yes. So you've changed your job now, though. And yeah, you've changed... I, I left my job in January after that uh, incident. Yes, with, that... with the violence. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my gosh. And, and where, what are you doing now? Uh, you know... Maybe you shouldn't tell us in case you know, she's listening. No, I think we should. The yeah. thing is, like, uh, I, I'm, doing, I'm, I'm building websites, so I'm working from home most uh -huh. of the time. And uh, I think that's the, the safest place, you know, because a few years ago I started to learn. Yeah. Because I, I knew that I need to get out from that bus company because it was too much. Yeah. And my safety have to come first. And on the buses, if, and if I have a protecting screen, you know, it's not enough. So that's why you know, I start, uh, start learning web design. So I'm doing that, you know. Yeah. And how, how do you see this ending? I, I have to leave the country, you know, after few years when she will be released, it is going to be back again. And, you know, I don't want to... No. This. I, I hate that feeling to just be scared mm. and looking all, all around because she can be anywhere.